Ladies and gentlemen, their chicken and wobble! Maple syrup on the crust? Woo! Hello! Good morning! <laughs> What's up you guys? So I finally made it to the Breakfast Club in LA in the heart of Hollywood. And the minute that I stepped foot in this place, I got so excited. Everywhere you look, there's fruit loops on the wall, donuts on the wall, a giant fork. But I'm here for the food, y'all. I've looked at the menu, I've seen the drinks. Not only do these things look incredible, but the smell of this place, I'm ready to go. All right, first round, alcohol. Our very first round, are alcoholic drinks and a non-alcoholic drink. Normally when it comes to breakfast, you don't start off with alcohol drinks unless it's brunch and you're out with your girlfriends. I'm a typical breakfast for me. Doesn't start with alcohol, but you know what? It's happy hour somewhere, so let's dive in. Um, this is their Airhead juice. This is a non-alcoholic beverage. And what I think is really cool about it is what looks like a huge ice cube is actually an Airhead. I haven't even eaten anything yet. Lord, be with me. Okay, so this is really subtle. A really simple juice that if you want to have breakfast with, it's way to ease into your lunch, nothing too crazy. It's not very sweet at all. I'm kind of getting a sweet tea type of flavor from this, and I love that this Airhead is in here floating. It's like that crunchy kind of ice. It's really nice and refreshing and a really cool beverage to have for breakfast. I love it. All right, so let's dive into this. This is an everything gimlet, which I think is just such a cool and original drink. As you guys can see, it's the everything bagel type of seasoning around the rim, and then it's just gym and lemon juice inside. I love it. I think it's a nice take on a breakfast cocktail, so let's go ahead and give it a try. <laughs> we are awake. We are diving in. Mm. That is definitely interesting. For somebody that loves everything bagels, I love the idea of mixing that with the cocktail. Because you know everything bagel is a very um, like salty. So it's kind of like you have a salt rim with a little flavor of a bagel with your cocktail in the morning. Listen, I don't even need a bagel. I just need this cocktail right here and I'm good to go. This beauty is called the Pebbles Milk Punch. And by the name, you can already guess that there are fruity pebbles in this thing with rum. Which again, I really love their cocktails. They're so fun and they're using elements of breakfast and spinning them in a really cool way. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. It kind of like punches you in the face with like this vibrant taste. It's really, really sweet, as expected, because there's fruity pebbles in here. Also, they don't skip out on the rum at all. You definitely taste it, but it's not too strong. It's a really nice balanced drink. You got the sweet from the fruity pebbles, and then you got that nice spice from the rum. If you like sweet drinks, this is definitely the cocktail for you. Out of all the drinks, which one is my favorite? Which one is my least favorite? You know I like a good cocktail, so this one's going in last just because it didn't have alcohol in it. It still tastes good, but it's last because you know it didn't have alcohol in it. Between these two, I have to say that this everything um, gimlet reigns supreme. I think it's a really cool twist. I love that they use that sesame seed rim, and then it's just like your standard, standard gimlet. I think I'm tipsy already. Where's the breakfast? I think it's time to eat. The very first food item that I'm going to be trying is this breakfast pizza. You guys, this is a masterpiece. It's art, it's beautiful, it's a Mona Lisa, if you will. It is insane. Before I even dive in, let me tell you what they do to this pizza, okay? They put maple syrup on the crust. They just, you know, lather it with maple syrup so that the sesame seeds will stick and hold. So again, we're back to that everything bagel aspect, but on the crust alone. Maple syrup on the crust? for the everything big. <laughs> That's just the crust, y'all, okay? And then you dive into the cheese, there's mozzarella, parmesan, and then they have chives, and then you know what they do with the bacon? They candy it. It's candied bacon. And then in the center, you have a poached egg. So we got the yolk already running. I don't know if my taste buds are ready, because this looks crazy. Holy! <laughs> I'm screaming in a restaurant, y'all, and that's okay. Because you know what, when food tastes good, you don't care who's around you, you don't care how much of a fool you make, you scream. You scream. 
So, what I love is that this is a kind of a crispier kind of pizza. It's not like super, super doughy. So the texture is nice. You have that like kickback when you chew. And then every so often you get this big chunk of candy bacon, which is so nice and so flavorful. I haven't even gotten to the crust yet, but all in all already, the flavor packs such a punch. There's so much going on. Like one second you're tasting the cheese, one second you're tasting the candy bacon. On this, every bite you take, you get something. I'm gonna cheat my way and go around to the crust. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm I already tasted it. No one has put maple on their crust. This is incredible. It's sweet. I'm a sweet and salty person, so I love the balance. This pizza? I don't know if I'm eating breakfast. I don't know if I'm eating dessert. I don't know if I'm eating dinner. It's all of the above. This is delicious. This is incredible. We are off to a good start, y'all. On to the next. Ooh, French toast, you guys, which is, you know, an American staple. Everybody loves starting their day off with French toast. Um, as you guys can see, it's kind of different from your average French toast. French toast tends to be a little bit bladder. This has some height on it. So we're gonna be climbing French toast this morning. Um, I love it though. It's thick and it looks fluffy. And then they put fruit on top and some whipped cream. So let's go ahead and dive in. It's like I'm chewing on a cloud. It's so fluffy. It's honestly your standard French toast. You have that beautiful flavor from a normal French toast. I think what's so special about this is that it's really doughy and fluffy on the inside and then you get minimal crisp on the outside. How is this breakfast? This is not breakfast, this is straight up dessert. Ladies and gentlemen, they're chicken and waffles! <laughs> what in the world is going on? This is definitely the family order. So if you come with your family and friends, clearly you share this. I'm gonna first take a bite of the chicken because we gotta taste the chicken and then we go and mix it with the waffles. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this little drumette here. Can we talk about the breading? Crispy, flaky, and it looks like there's a lot of breading, which I don't mind at all. I love that big crunch when you bite into it. I'm gonna go ahead and pour some syrup on it, because you know, we're going all out today at the breakfast club. Go big or go home, y'all. I'm gonna get some of the chicken. When you finally do get to the chicken, it's tender and juicy. Wow, I'm so impressed. Hold on. Let me get more into the chicken here. <laughs> Sorry, that is not attractive. Okay, so it is a lot of batter, okay? I personally probably would peel some of it off, but the batter is good, it has so much flavor, and I do like the texture of it too with the mixture of the chicken. And again, the chicken is tender and juicy, which I can appreciate, it is not dry at all. Okay, so we got some chicken here, we've got some of the breading, and we got the waffle. That's a huge bite, and you know I'm gonna dive all in. What is there to say other than I truly am in heaven today? The waffle's great, it's sweet. And then you got the saltiness from the chicken. You got the different textures of the waffle. It's soft, but a little crispy on the outside. Then you have the breading of the chicken. I'm happy, this is incredible. And they say breakfast is the most important meal of the day. This is how you do it. If you start your day off here, you're going to be happy. You're gonna be joyful. Nothing is gonna ruin your day. Okay, you guys, breakfast is over, and I have to say, I thoroughly enjoyed everything that I tried today. If I had to sum up what my favorite was out of the three entrees that I tried, or breakfast items that I tried, I think I have to go with the breakfast pizza. It was delicious, it had so many different elements that I wasn't expecting, and I think, you really can't get a pizza like that anywhere else, which makes it really unique. So that was definitely my favorite item of the day. Thumbs up, I'm happy. I'm gonna go back over here where the food's at and I'm gonna finish it off because I only had a couple bites. Um, bye.